Hey, I'm just making a video here for people who are sewing on their serger and don't have a cover hemmer but need to alter t-shirts for t-shirt hems. i um, doing a lot of different alterations here in the shop and sometimes this vintage style cover hem kind of comes around and uh, this is one way that you can create this look on a serger. Um, if you've ever done blind hem on a regular sewing machine, um, I've cut my t-shirt one inch longer than the final length. I ironed it back and then you fold it back again like an accordion fold. However, you leave a little bit of a lip when you bring it back. So fold it back just a touch and now I've got this narrow little edge that I can sew on. So I'm lining this up. I've removed one of my threads. I didn't, a little lazy, didn't take out that second needle there, but it's just doing nothing. And I've lined up the edge of my fold here with this tiny little part of my foot. I'm just watching that as it feeds in and making sure that my fold on, or my edge, my cut edge is just right there. Nothing's really chewing and cutting away. I've also got one of these nicer jukies with a modern um, motor and I've turned that motor down real slow so that I could actually um, sew very slow because you do want to make sure that you're getting that right on the edge and it is very easy to botch. So um, let's see here, it's really going that slow. And so you're just going super slow along that line here. The one other thing um, that I did was I, <laughs> look at my dusty machine. I did loosen this, just the first needle one, um, so that that stitch was particularly loose. And that way, when I open it up, um, just that one caught edge can basically open and be easier to spread that fabric out. So a little bit of a hot iron afterwards will get you that far. Okay, that's it.